I play Adele, and she is a single mother living with her 12-year-old son. Um, and she lives a very quiet life. Um, she's slightly separate to society. You don't really know why. Um, she used to be a dancer. She used to be married to, happily married to Henry's father, Gerald. Um, and he is remarried and has another child. Um, but there's something about this woman that I play that you can't quite put your finger on. And through meeting Frank, um, as she does at the beginning of the story, um, who she really is and what has happened in her life prior to the point of the two of them meeting starts to unravel. The significance of the pie making, you know, Frank, it's the way that he he first draws them into, I suppose, his space um, by teaching them something, by showing them something. And of course, the act of cooking together with somebody is a very, um, it's a very sort of warm and sometimes intimate thing to do. Um, and it's, it's really a part of their dance. You know, Adele does actually dance with Frank and his way of dancing with her is to teach her how to bake, you know, literally how to eat again, how to wake, awaken her senses. Um, and also there's this lovely backstory whereby his grandmother taught him how to do this when he was a young boy. We have been so blessed to have Gatlin because he's a really wonderful young man. He is genuinely a very, very um, remarkable individual actually. Um, he's wiser than his years, he's extremely professional, very prepared, eyes wide open, wants to learn a lot, really wants to do a good job. Um, and he thinks the way an older actor would think, you know. I mean, often Josh and I will be like, oh, God, I could have done that better. And then we'll turn around and Gatlin will be like, oh, mm, I didn't like that take, and, you know. I, I feel I had something else up my sleeve. And, you know, it's really wonderful to see that because what Gatlin doesn't know that we all know is that he is going to have an absolutely spectacular career. It's really been all about trusting Jason little by little. You know, I almost feel as though I've been a big radio dial and he's been able to kind of turn me just a tiny bit to the right, tiny bit to the left. And my job has very much been, you know, just to be flexible and open to all of that, um, which, of course, I have, you know, happily been because uh, he, he knows exactly what he wants and exactly what he's doing. I would certainly hope that this film does, does move people and makes people think about actually opening, opening their eyes and hearts and minds to unexpected situations and unexpected circumstances. Um, because I think we can often live in a very busy, blinkered world, you know, and we get used to judging people or judging circumstances and often thinking that we ourselves are a certain way and that's it. And, you know, life can surprise you sometimes and it can make you think about yourself very differently 